What's up guys? Pretty much I'm gonna be heading out to the gym in just a little bit. I'm gonna be doing an arm day, um, maybe a little bit of legs, things like, you know, see like my training's kind of been like, kind of weird and not what I'm used to. I have three main days of a legs push pull and that's really, those are the really only heavy days I'm pushing myself. And the other two days that I train, it's more hypertrophy based. So I'll do a, like, uh, it's either like an upper lower split or I'll do like two days of full body. Uh, it really depends like what I feel like doing and what, like what I want to go do in the gym. I feel like having a structured programming is great and is a, it's extremely important and it's essential to keep making progress. But I also feel if you feel like you're trapped in on a programming that you don't necessarily like, you can switch it up. As long as you're hitting the gym, consistently doing this, not missing days, and, and training to get stronger, training to move more weight, you're, you're gonna make progress. Little plug, I'm offering custom programming now, Adam Peeler and I, uh, Adam is very knowledgeable, uh, he, he knows his shit, he, he's going to school for exercise science, he's gonna be an athletic trainer, he, uh, he's taking courses in kinesiology and biology and he, he knows his shit. Go check out his, and honestly, I don't even need to explain it to you. Just go sh check out his, uh, his Instagram page, put it right there. He's a really smart guy, really cool guy too. And you guys will love him. Yeah. So I'm about to head out to the gym, but I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm going to put up a little bit of an ad here, but this really isn't, this is like the easiest ad ever. Cause I've been using this scale for like three years now, two or three years. And it's literally. It's still clinging in. Oh, I was like 187 when I didn't have shoes and a sweatshirt on. So just over 190 in clothes, that's not bad. I'll take it. I really like didn't even bulk this year, which I'm like kind of sad about, but I haven't been able to train consistently and I didn't want to get fat. Like this scale has been around like for like three years now, very dependable. I only changed the batteries once in three years, just recently changed the batteries. So you get like three years of life from this thing which is pretty clean. I mean, I don't know how, how much you care about scales, but it's pretty damn accurate too. I uh, would weigh myself at the gym, weigh myself here, weigh myself on another scale. They always seem to be very correct. All, all of them are very within the ballpark. I feel like this one is the most accurate. My gym scale, I think it, it overweighs a little bit, a little bit. But yeah, the scale's like really awesome. It actually has some features where it measures your body fat, bone density, water retention, um, I'll show you guys. So what's cool about this scale is that you can actually like personalize exactly like your settings. So everything will be calibrated to your height, your age, uh, your gender. And you can also change that to a level of activity if you're like really active and like doing a lot of running, you're playing sports or have a really active job. So it's really, it's really convenient to have something like that. And then pretty much you just step on the scale when it's zeroed out. And then it does this little zeroing thing. And then you get your numbers. So um, apparently I'm up like near the 20s in the body fat, 43.6 uh, muscle, de uh, muscle density percent, 8.8 uh, .8 pounds in bone density, and uh, 56.3, dude, I cannot read numbers, 56.3 in water, water weight, but pretty much. So honestly, I would just, honestly, just write those numbers down. And if you're dieting, see how those change and how they're influenced. I can't say they'd be 100% accurate, uh, I, I, I honestly know they are not 100% accurate, but they're consistently inaccurate. So yeah, say I'm like 18% or whatever. I don't really know what my body fat percentage is and I don't want to guess or even worry about it, honestly. But the thing is with these is that even if it says 22% and I'm dieting and I want to get leaner, every time I step on the scale, if I can see that number start to drop, I know I'm doing something right. They're going to be consistently incorrect so as long as that number is dropping you're doing something right so this can be very beneficial i wouldn't take all the numbers seriously i would take them with a grain of salt but they can be helpful in managing and tracking how you're losing weight or how you're gaining weight uh i think it's like an awesome tool and i've been using it for three years it's the only scale i've had for three years so yeah this is an ad and i do get a discount code it's qv60 for 60 percent off it's a body analyzer it's actually called it's actually called the Fit Form Body Analyzer. So you get literally 60% off. That's an, like, more than 50% off. That's a huge deal for something like this. So guys, go check it out. Um, yeah, I'll have the link in the description or yeah, down there. But yeah, enough of that. I'm gonna go ahead to the gym, get some arms and a little bit of legs done. It's, this is gonna be like my full body day. Hey guys, can you see me? So actually I'm gonna be meeting up with uh, my buddy Nick and Grant. 
Well, I think Grant's there, but I know Nick's there. Um, at Island. Wait for this light to turn. Oh, you took that. Oh shit. So if I accelerate too much, the camera falls over. Let's hope I don't get us into an accident, guys. Yeah, so um, I, don't, I don't even know what the camera looks like right now, but we're just gonna send it. So yeah, pretty much I'm going to the gym right now. I'm gonna meet up with uh, Grant and Nick, get an arm pump and a little bit of a, do a little bit of legs, like a couple workouts, but I'll run you guys through it, show you what's been going on. So honestly, my injury, my, well, what happened, I guess, it was, yeah, it was an injury. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, honestly. Yeah, so the injury that happened with my neck, it still seems to be there, but compared to like a month or two ago, it's improved at least by 30%. Like before I was saying I'm like six out of six out of seven, or I, I, I was saying like I have like six or seven pain level, like neck was hurting me. Now I'm honestly, I could say I'm down to like a two or a three, and to some points a zero. So that's like really cool. The pain's like not much at all. I don't feel, I don't feel hindered by it as much as I, I used to, so I, I feel more comfortable going heavy again. Big goal for me this year is to hit 405. Like, I, I wanna hit 405 bench by, by end of summer, I wanna have a 405 bench. And that means I'm gonna be half, I'm gonna have to start bulking a little bit throughout the summer because I wasn't able to properly bulk this winter. Um, given with like, pretty much because of how my neck felt. I didn't want to eat a crap ton and then just not be able to lift and then get really fat. So, I mean, I don't think that would happen, but you never know. And I, I knew I couldn't be eating 4,000 calories if, if I, uh, if I wasn't actually training intensely and like having an active lifestyle. But I just pulled up to Island. I'm gonna park right in front of Rock Bottom. So they they are here. That's Nick. That's Grant. You've seen Nick before. You have not seen Grant yeah, I've been before. In your video, but like, Grant, huh? I was in like your video like a year like ago. A, yeah, probably a year ago. It was, it was a while. It was a super ago. awkward like crunchy stage in my life on like social media and like camera. And, like, oh. But see, like the thing is, I, I I don't upload that much, so you know what? You probably would have been it more. But. Dude, it's gonna be a jam. Literally, guys, I carry Quinn on Fortnite, so that's no. how I'm affiliated. Yeah, Grant is actually like a Fortnite god, low key, but he plays on controller, so he, he's not letting he's not letting he has on PC controller on PC, so he's not letting the floodgates open yet. Right, guys, I just want to come on here and write and just say, Look at this kid. Look at how adorable Quinn looks in his nice little alphabet gear. Movement glasses, link in the description, discount code Quinn J. I posted a picture in that pose like a long time ago. It was so fucking nasty. What? In the Frank Zane, like uh, that pose, that turn. 
Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Was it was like a gym shark white shirt. It was like the nastiest fucking person picture I've ever seen. Like it looks so good. <laughs> not the same lighting. The and not the same vascularity. Locker room. Uh, I feel like I'm like not many people can hit that pose though. It's so awkward here. It's like underarm. Yeah, but dude, your arms have the girth to pull that off. It's like, honestly, I'm extremely, like, literally, it doesn't matter, like, what time of year. Yeah. I'm, like, fucking vascular shit under here. For whatever, like, the skin is just so thin down here for some reason. You know what we call that? Dick skin. Yeah, yeah baby. Buddy. Dick skin strategy. Yeah. I get the side belt toes from my belt are, like, really big. <laughs> like, that's the only push I can hit. Side belt, like, bicep wise. Ooh. Nasty dude, you're fucking oh, sauna too. The proportions are nasty though, especially in that shirt, dude. Oh. No, nah, Alphalete does do does do a good job at making you look aesthetic. As fuck. Like imagine like you're going into the club just like fucking like all jacked up and shit. Yeah. 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 I told you. Nah, man. That's when we was using that, that bench. It's all good, bro. Look, we got so many... Look how, like, empty it is compared to what it just was. Yeah, it's like, definitely... It was so bad. Yeah, it was literally a butt... Like, I'm not going to finish that sentence, but it was bad. What time is it? Six seven. Yo, what are you doing after this? I can't even see. 7.43. Jesus. What are you Fortnite, doing? bro. Can I hit Cheeto real quick? Uh, I, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of hungry. I was gonna make ground beef and I'm with one gonna, egg in it. I'm still gonna make ground beef with one egg in it. But I'm trying to cheat up before I make ground beef with one egg in it. That's that diet lifestyle. I'm not about that. See, I'm all about Wendy's once a day, clean food the next, and then. Yeah, that's it. Go to bed. That probably hits your macros, though. Wendy's once a day. Wendy's is pretty good, too. Yeah. Good calorically dense food. And dude, the grilled chicken sandwich micros. is my homie. Dude, I like the baconator. Yeah, dude. That's like when I'm feeling real fatty, though. Yeah. Like, I'm really craving it's so it. Much I'm a bodybuilder. I don't really eat fast food. Maybe. You're a bodybuilder? No. Aren't you supposed to have calves if you're a bodybuilder? Oh, he's wearing the shoes. No, off. bodybuilders don't hit legs. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned oh, 25. Wow. Ooh.
AirPods. That would have been so nice. <laughs> yeah, right, they fall out. Yo guys, so this is gonna be the end of the video. I felt it was kind of weird to just like leave the video off like of me walking to the locker room um, My camera actually died so I didn't get to record Cheeto, but I gotta say it was a bomb ass burrito It was fucking large and in charge now. It was it was fucking good um, Really enjoyed that and then pretty much that was like the end of the night um, I also want to say the scale as I mentioned earlier before is 60% off with my code QV60 now, seriously, this scale I've used for three plus years, it's like gonna be really important with this turbo bulk I'm gonna be going on. I wanna be over 200 and being able to monitor my body fat and my muscle mass and even my water weight is gonna be really helpful in kind of understanding what I'm putting on and where I'm heading in this bulk. Uh, that The ideal goal is to not put on too much crazy fat, but it's inevitably gonna happen. So I'm just gonna take it as I can. Uh, but the scale is definitely going to be really useful, and I'm really looking forward to getting through this getting through this massive bulk. Like, dude, we want to be large in charge, juicy, fucking strong as hell. So, um, yeah. So, pretty much, yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or, uh, I don't know, comments, anything like that, obviously leave it down in the comment section. Uh, I always review them, look over them, uh, like about an hour or two after I release a video. So if you comment early, I'll probably respond. But uh, yeah, seriously, guys, thank you for watching, and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.